YouTube, thanks for checking out Leba View. Today, let's talk about wireless mics. So a lot of you guys started subscribing to my channel because a few years back, I did a review of a really inexpensive wireless mic. And I think it was like $13 at the time, and it might be closer to $9 now. It was a pile system, and it did pretty good. It wasn't bad. And for just getting into videos and doing movement videos to where I was doing repairs on stuff out in the garage, I needed something that was more mobile, and that's why I got the system. Now, for the money, it did the job. But as time has gone on, I've got a couple other channels and those channels required me to have a little bit better audio than what I was providing with that wireless system so I finally started looking now the choices that I had were the Sennheiser the Asden the Sony and just recently the Rode system now that Rode system caught my eye and I'll tell you the main reason is is because the audio that you're currently listening to me at now because I bought a Rode Video Micro and I was really happy with this microphone it's not that far from me right now and the quality was exceptional I couldn't believe it it doesn't require batteries and it's small it mounted on top of my camera it came with a really nice windsock that dead cat I guess you could call it and it did a good job cutting down on the wind noise and it really brought out my videos a little bit more whenever I was out moving around but I wanted to do something that allowed me to have mobile audio like that wireless system that I had so looking at the systems I went with the Rode brand Rodelink filmmaker system I'm really glad that I did now the thing about this one is it operates different than the others. Most of the other ones operate off of UHF frequencies, which are just radio frequencies. The Sennheiser has been king of the hill for an extreme long time, and there's a reason. The adjustability, the features of that system is really awesome. But I'm really on a prosumer level. Now, the problem that I had was that Sennheiser was about $640 for one system. And then if I wanted to add another receiver for another person uh, so I could have two people that were broadcasting wirelessly, it was going to cost me about $270, $280 for just a receiver. So you could see where we were about $900 to $1,000 for that system for me to have two people on it. So the road system then became definitely an item that I wanted because the Sony although it's pretty decent and I use a lot of Sony products as you can see in my reviews I didn't really care for the Sony brand wireless microphones for a couple of reasons and I'm not really going to get into the details of it but the quality just wasn't there so I picked this up and you see here it comes with of course a transmitter and a receiver and it's a real easy push button ready to go type system uh, whenever you get it uh, of course it takes double A batteries this isn't a rechargeable system I kinda like that because I have a lot of rechargeable double A's for other items that I use whenever I'm shooting video you have the ability when this is on the camera to set the gain to where it's either 0, minus 10 or minus 20 uh, that helps out with volume and how loud it is whenever it's being broadcast and that helps with cameras that have maybe built-in amplification that you can't turn down of course you don't know what the situation may be whenever you're out and about so the person that is transmitting that's what this is here has the same ability of course this one here also takes two double-a batteries but this person here can also do the same thing they can bump up how much volume they're broadcasting so it gives you some adjustability there this has multiple channels I mean a lot of channels this works off a of 2.4 gigahertz band which is kind of like your wireless system you know your Wi-Fi in your house the difference is this one is always bouncing between a couple of channels and picking which one has no interference automatically does it all automatically so with the Sennheisers you had a lot of trouble possibly adjusting it getting your frequencies just right matching them with the unit and making sure there was no interference whenever you were traveling around wherever the case may be because radio frequencies are everywhere the same with these there's a lot of 2.4 gigahertz frequencies out there however 
The nice thing is, this will adjust for it automatically. All you do is just turn it on, choose a channel, they sync automatically, and that's it. They're, you're done. As far as the battery life, you can watch that on the screen. Um, you can mute the person so they don't have the ability to broadcast something that they don't want to. So this comes in handy if you're on a bus with Billy Bush. <laughs> you can just reach down and push a button and whatever you're saying isn't going to be picked up uh, somewhere else. <laughs> the nice thing about these is they run $400. That's very, very good because as you'll see here in a second, the quality is pretty outstanding. The microphone that they give you with this kit um, is a little tiny lavalier mic. It's about a hundred dollar lav mic and it does exceptional like you would think. Uh, as far as the Sennheiser being a comparable microphone, uh, it's pretty close. I still think the Sennheiser is better. I don't think that it is two hundred dollars better. It's just not there. It's not that kind of quality. And for ease of use, this has got it beat by far. Like I said, it's just plug and play. Now with this kit, again, you'll get yourself a little microphone, little foam ball, real nice clip. Uh, you get this little pouch to carry all this stuff and you get yourself a, uh, well, I, you can't call this a dead cat. I guess you could call this like a, a mole. <laughs> and I did go out and test it in the wind and it did a really good job. It's, it's amazing how good of a job it does. Now we're gonna do some sort of a range test so you can kind of see uh, what it does, but Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like in here right now. Okay, so I've got the camera boosted a little bit. I didn't mean to. It's actually on the second lowest setting that it possibly could be, but I could see my meters almost maxing out there on the screen. Now, here's the body pack, and this is what the lavalier mic is plugged into, and right here is the transmitter. And it's kind of nice because as you're looking on the camera, you can see, whenever this is mounted on the camera, uh, the volume of what's coming through the microphone. So you don't necessarily have to have headphones on to be monitoring how much sound is coming through if your camera doesn't have some sort of a level on it. Now in this case I have a cable that's plugged into the camera and it's long. This was the one that went to my microphone but I wanted to be able to show you what it looked like. You can see the meter how it moves um, as far as how loud it is. So now what we'll do is I'll hook this up the way it should be and that is uh, without this long cord but the little short cord that comes with it which is this one right here and put this on the camera. There's a shoe mount that I have for the camera um, that this clips onto which goes into this right here. It's just a screw. It came with the filmmaker kit and that will allow me to mount it into the shoe of my camera. Now if you have a Sony camera with one of those proprietary little goofy looking shoes, you'll have to make some adjustments for that or buy an adapter. But this will allow me to put it on the camera and then we'll go check out what kind of range we've got with this thing. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty good test because we have a little bit of wind that's going on. I have traffic noise that's going on also. So that'll help you give an, you an idea of what the microphone is like. Uh, the lavalier's right here. Here's the body pack. Of course, you can put this back behind you so you don't have to see it, but I wanted to give you some sort of line of sight so you can get an idea. Now, the receiver is mounted on the camera. It's just kind of hooked to the strap of the Handycam, and at this point, I'm sure that the volume is more than clear enough without any break. So let's go ahead and walk, and we'll see what kind of range we can get and what point this drops off. Now, now I'm walking. Of course, you're probably going to be able to hear some of these leaves. Um, most of the leaves have been cleaned up, <laughs> but there's still a few. Now, the camera is not zoomed in or anything like that. And right now, I am approximately 40 yards from the house. Let's go ahead and uh, back up a little bit and see how much further we go. Now, there is some crosswind. And although there's a little buffer that's on this, it may be picking up a little bit of that breeze. Okay, so now I'm on the edge of the mowing part of the property. And you can see, again, uh, I, I don't really know if this is the kind of range that you would need for any specific reason, but it's available. And I, I think that it's pretty awesome because the quality of the sound that's being transmitted into the camera 
I mean, the camera has a really good 5.1 stereo surround that's built into it. But even if I had it in my hand right now, I don't know if I would get this kind of quality. So you can see the kind of range that you get with this and how clear it is. So now let's go a little bit further and see what happens. Again, a lot of leaves here. Okay, so now we're out quite a ways. Now, I really don't see a reason to have this kind of signal and this kind of distance, but it's possible that it could. Pretty good, not bad. So let's go ahead and get back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts. Going out there and walking around, uh, it picks up quite a range. I, I'm very happy with it. It does a very good job. The nice thing about it is it allows me to shoot video whenever I'm making a repair and not worry about the microphone and not picking something up that I might be saying. Also, like in the case of my wife, with a separate body pack altogether, what that allows is whenever we're doing a walkthrough, let's say we're going camping and we're walking through an RV park and we're talking, this way it just doesn't pick up whoever's holding the camera, what they're saying, it picks up the person that they're walking with too. So the comments will come through on the camera equally. So it's really nice. I, I really like the microphone. I like the entire system and how easy it is to set up. Again, just pushing buttons and it does all the syncing automatically. And of course you can see the range and hear the quality. So I hope this helps you out one way or the other. The link is going to be down below for this kit. So click the link. It'll take you right to it. Once you're in there, look at your buying options. I would suggest that you buy Amazon LLC. Anything that says from Amazon.com LLC because there's a lot of fake ones that are out there and this will make it to where if you have an issue, you can get it warrantied because it is an original. So far as road products are concerned, make sure you order it from Amazon LLC, which is Amazon.com LLC. If it's saying fulfilled by Amazon, just skip it. Go ahead and try to find the one that I just mentioned. Again, the link for that one specifically will be included below. So if you click that link, it'll take you right to the one that'll give you a full warranty with Road, which they got pretty good customer service. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye.